Good evening or morning, everybody. It depends when you're watching. This is Dr. Zana with Hero Fuel, which is a few minutes a day. We're going to feed your mind, your body, and your future. So when we're waiting for people to get on, today we're going to be talking about the villains in your life. So we talked about hero, right? The I am, we talk about the I am hero project. We talk about, you know, finding your true authentic hero. What's up everybody coming on. But today we got to talk about the villains. Now the enemy of the hero, the enemy of your hero is not the villain. It's your secret identity, but there are villains in your life. So what are the villains? Now the villains are actually things that you pretty much make up or you cause to yourself whether you realize it or not, even on a subconscious level. So let's talk about the villains. There's two main way, ways there's villains in your life. Number one, uh, the, the way of the hero is pride, meaning pride means this, to find pleasure or satisfaction in one owns achievement or the achievement of others that you're closely associated to, or pleasure and satisfaction in gifts and talents that are widely admired by others. That's the definition of pride. That's a very awesome thing. Now, the definition of passion, which most of us were told to chase after our passion, uh, the definition of passion is unbridled emotions, like uncontrollable emotions. Some synonyms, synonyms are um, frenzy, tantrums. Like a, when a passionate person is out of control, it's unbridled emotions. Just think of the word unbridled, out of control. Pride is pleasure and satisfaction in one's own achievements. Ego is one's sense of self-esteem and self-importance. See, those things are more calm and peaceful. That's why the hero, basically, their traits are from pride and ego. But the villain, when you just think, when you watch the movies and you look into the movies and you see villains, uh, do they have a sense of self-esteem and self-importance? No, they're usually, what, a radical, as a term, unbridled, tantrumous, frenzious. So I realized that pride and ego truly make the hero, pride, ego, and humility. And the way to the villain is passion. The villain has the passionate tendencies. They're out of control. They're unbridled. They can't control. They cannot focus. They're crazy, all right? So in life, we were always told, I know it sounds so dogmatic, right? You were told never go down the road of pride and ego. It almost related uh, to such a strong point that, you know, it would, you would be a bad person, down the road, ungodly, whatever you want to call it. And you were told to always follow your passion. But now, if you actually look at the definition of passion, passion is unbridled. The way of passion is the way of the villainous person, period. You'll never get to where you want to be, and you'll drive yourself and those around you insane. You'll go nuts versus having pleasure and satisfaction in what you do. Finding pleasure and satisfaction of uh, you, uh, of those that you're fondly associated with, like your friends, your family, and finding pleasure and satisfaction in the gifts you have now and the talents you have now that are widely admired, even by others. And having a sense of self-esteem and self-importance. The self-esteem is having, you know, being, you know, having worthiness for yourself and the self-importance knowing that you do matter. You are important. I mean, I don't care where you are. Like if I, if I'm the person, um, you know, if I'm the person, you know, picking up the trash at the end of the day, I'm very important because like there's no low job when it comes to ego and self-importance. Every job has, has self, has importance, therefore self-importance. So villain again, passion is the villainous way. The number two thing, which we'll close with, the villain is secretly disguised. Villains have secret identities too. Now the villain is secretly disguised as your, as your comfort zone. I'll say it again. The villain is secretly disguised as your comfort zone. Because what is the villain? You got the hero and the villain. The villain is what? Passionate, it's to distract you. It's to keep the hero off its focus or game. And that's what it does. Now the secret identity is the less than watered down version of your truth and your hero. But the villain, the villainous things, the villain or the comfort zone or, or you know, the, the things that distract you to have you just be comfortable leads to torment, right? The comfort zone leads to torment. It is comfortable in the moment but there's no good opportunity in the comfort zone. There's no unknowns in the comfort zone. There's no uncertainty in the comfort zone. And remember when I talk about the unknowns, in the unknown is where, it's where the new opportunity is. It's where the new relationship is. It's where the new friendship is. It's where the new uh, idea comes from. It's, it's really the unknown has all the nutrients that you ever wanted in your life. Without the unknown, your life is exactly what you know you're getting. Without the unknown or the comfort zone, you're living the same recipe every single day. So nothing would really change without the unknown. So that's why two things, what is it? The hero, well actually three, a couple. Number one, the hero, the hero is driven by pride, ego, and humility. 
the villain is driven by passion. And number two, the villain is secretly disguised in your life as your comfort zone. And this is really a fitting message for the new year. So, you know, we're getting, you know, when the new year comes, like it's nice to hit a goal, but a lot of times when you hit a goal, you get comfortable because you hit the goal, right? And celebrate, celebrate's great, but you always want to be slightly stretching. You know, when I competed or any type of uh, athletics I did uh, or any type of competitions, I always say the best thing was that I got second place the first couple times I competed or I was in competition. Why? Because first, I would have been like, I'm first and get a little comfortable. Third or fourth, I might have just been down, but second, I was almost there. So that's the great thing about being slightly uncomfortable. So put things in your life or strive off after things that are challenging you, that are slightly uncomfortable. But as you progress and get better and have many wins throughout the day, you know, you just keep on writing, uh, you keep on writing your, your passion, the unknowns, and the new purposes and goals in your life. So hopefully you enjoy that. Listen, we, I got a great, amazing uh, webinar that I created for you guys. It's kind of like, a, it's a master class. I wouldn't really call it a webinar because it's way better than what you think a webinar is. It's, uh, it's really how to unleash the authentic hero that you were created to be. I took a lot of time, a lot of years. The I Am Hero Project has been released, but I want to invite you to this masterclass. So all you have to do is go to IamHero.com forward slash register. You know, R-E-G-I-S-T-E-R. Uh, so it's IamHero.com forward slash register. Please, guys, do me a favor. If you found any value in this, please do me a favor. Check it out. You'll love it. You know, it's you and I together, and I really will break everything I, I, I went over down to such a deep level, and it will really be a blessing to you. You will be different when you leave that. I um, mean, we have gotten rave reviews, and that's my gift to you, and I will always continue to do that. And if you found value in this message today, please forward it, tag me to it, share it, whatever you want to do. But uh, the best thing, way to say thank you is E, A, you know, check out that webinar. Uh, B, let other people know because, you know, my goal is this. When I do get online, when I do do lives with people, when I do uh, post content, none of it is going to hold you back. If anything, my goal is that every time you meet with me, you're going to leave better, right? So if we leave better and if, if we met 100 times, that means there's going to be 100 bits of information or 100 bits of inspiration that made you better. And that means a lot to me, you know, and that will be a, mean a lot to you. So have an amazing day. Make sure to check out IamHero.com forward slash register. Also, if you're not following me, make sure you subscribe to Instagram under Dr. Zaino or Facebook at Dr. Zaino. YouTube, Dr. Zaino, it's all there. D-R-Z-A-I-N-O. Check it out. Please tell others. And I appreciate you guys so much. Have an amazing day. And we'll see you soon with Hero Fuel.